Dr. Philly, welcome to Health Connection. We're glad to have you. Our topic is pulmonary hypertension. We start Health Connection segments off with a definition. What is pulmonary hypertension? Well, pulmonary hypertension is actually high pressure in the arteries of your lungs. Okay. And what causes it? Well, actually, there's a variety of conditions that can cause pulmonary hypertension, or some people refer to it as pH. Um, it can be anything from lung conditions to heart conditions to problems with the liver to a variety of other actual conditions such as um, past medication use, um, related to obesity or even high altitude. How is pulmonary hypertension different from garden variety hypertension, high blood pressure? What's the, what's the difference? Oh, I think that's a great question. It's something that's actually very confusing to a lot of people. Normal blood pressure, the blood pressure you and I think of, is actually me measured in the brachial artery, typically in your arm, um, and it reflects the pressure that your heart is pumping against to get blood to the rest of your body. Uh -huh. Pulmonary hypertension, again, or pH, is actually the pressure that your heart has to exert to get the blood to your lungs. Okay. And so it's high pressures in the actual lung uh, circulation. Okay. Are there symptoms, and if so, what are they? Uh, there's actually a multitude of symptoms. They can range anything from severe fatigue to difficulty breathing with exertion. In some severe cases, it can even lead to swelling of the arms, swelling of the legs, fainting, or even dizziness. Are there groups of people who are at higher risk for pulmonary hypertension? Another good question. There are people at higher risk. Again, like I had mentioned, people with lung conditions, people with heart conditions, certainly people that are obese or people with sleep apnea are often at risk for high, uh, pulmonary hypertension. You gave me some symptoms, but with respect to a diagnosis, a, 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 a firm diagnosis, how is pulmonary hypertension diagnosed? Pulmonary hypertension is usually picked up, uh, first of all, from a good history from the patient. So I think patients that uh, are at risk for pulmonary hypertension certainly need to see a physician where probably a very good history and physical will be performed. Based on that, I think that there's a variety of lab work as well as lung function testing as well as ultrasound pictures of your heart that may be used as screening tools to pick up pulmonary hypertension. Mm -hmm. The true way to diagnose it is actually through what we call a right heart catheterization which is the insertion of a, a very thin flexible tube called a catheter into a vein so that we can actually measure the pressures in, in the pulmonary circulation. Well, then how serious is pulmonary hypertension and can it be cured? Another good question. I think it depends on actually what caused the pulmonary hypertension itself. In certain circumstances, treating the problem that caused the pulmonary hypertension can actually improve or even make the pulmonary hypertension disappear. Okay. Um, a good example of that would be something like sleep apnea. Um, weight loss and the treatment of sleep apnea may even cure pulmonary hypertension. There are other types of conditions where pulmonary hypertension is very difficult to, um, to treat. Certainly there are medications that can be used that can improve those situations. In the event that we don't understand what caused the pulmonary hypertension or no identifiable cause is found, we often call that um, idiopathic mm -hmm. or primary pulmonary hypertension. Very well. Doctor, appreciate your time and thank you. Thank you so much.